Now at noon, in just about an hour, a special Miami Commission meeting will resume to discuss the future of Miami Police Chief Art Acevedo. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Jones. Thanks for being with us once again. That first meeting was held earlier this week, and it quickly turned into a war of words. Yeah, commissioners are questioning some comments the chief has made, as well as hiring and firings in the department. CBS Force Peter Dench is outside City Hall in Coconut Grove with more. Peter? Well, Maribel and Keith, this will be a continuation of what happened on Monday when there was a truly contentious seven-hour meeting about Chief Art Acevedo's performance. In the end, commissioners appointed themselves as committee members with subpoena powers to investigate the chief's performance. As 57-year-old Miami Police Chief Art Acevedo watched from a second-floor window on Monday, city commissioners aired a series of grievances, even taking issue with Acevedo's Elvis Presley impersonation during a fundraiser. The, the only time that you would see me like that was when I played football, but that's because I had a jockstrap. Commissioners were upset that Acevedo, who was born in Cuba, said the department was run by the Cuban mafia. He's apologized for that, but he also said the actions of some commissioners bore a resemblance to communist Cuba. Acevedo was also criticized after popular sergeant of arms Luis Camacho was relieved of duty without explanation, and several supervisors were demoted, and the highest ranking police couple was fired for allegedly not properly reporting a patrol car accident. City Commissioner Joe Carroyo produced a document showing Acevedo was sued for sexual harassment when he was with the California Highway Patrol between 1996 and 2001. And he said there was another lawsuit in Texas saying Acevedo did not do enough for rape victims. The lawsuit said rape kits were not properly investigated. On Monday, there was public comment about the chief. Our department needs reform. Chief, Chief Acevedo was brought here to institute reform, and he deserves the opportunity to do so. Mr. Acevedo's judgment and decision-making have been suspect, rash, and calls into question his ability to effectively run the police department. Acevedo, in a memo, had lashed out at commissioners, accusing them of improperly influencing his police investigations. He has also reached out to the Justice Department, saying he was looking into the excessive use of force by officers. Now, the Fraternal Order of Police said 79% of its membership polls said that they had no confidence in Acevedo's ability to run the department. City commissioners do not have the power to fire the chief, but they can take their own vote of no confidence right now amid all this. And the hearing, Acevedo is not commenting. We are live in Miami City Hall, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.